Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining my session. I will be talking about boosting uh, your kubectl productivity here, trying to save you some time. As uh, Brian mentioned, I do work for LearnCates. It's, uh, we do Kubernetes training all over the world. If you're interested in that, please follow LearnCates in Twitter. I do work for a company called Camunda. We do microservices orchestration as well. If you're interested in that, please uh, look for us in Twitter and get in touch. I'm at Salabo in Twitter, so uh, you can you know, follow me there as well. So let's start with a little bit of context. If you're using kubectl, you're using a CLI tool that basically is going to craft HTTP requests against the Kubernetes APIs, right? So if you are using this tool, every argument that you type, it will become you know, some part of the payload of this request that you're going to send to the server, and it's also going to influence the HTTP method that it's going to be sent to that. You can, instead of using kubectl, you can just write your own you know, HTTP request and just send them to the server. It's the same thing. kubectl is helping you into uh, doing that more efficiently. So before starting with the tips uh, in this presentation, I would like you to introduce this number. I love this number, right? This is my favorite number of the world. And you probably uh, want to remember this to mention to your manager. This is the amount of time that we can all save if we apply these tips that I'm going to present here. So let's jump to the first tip. With this one, you can improve your productivity from four to seven times. You can create an alias. So instead of typing kubectl or kubectl tab, you can just type k, right? So if you, are, you can quickly add this into your uh, shell by adding this line into your bash rc or csh rc file, depending which shell are you using. So definitely don't mention this to your product manager because they will want to reduce your salary if they find out that you're using this trick. So don't do that. Next step is using bash completion. Again, you can install bash completion with any of these two lines, depending which shell are you using. And the whole idea here is that you should be able to Type your, you know, your command, and then if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, press tab and just get the list of suggestions from it, right? Remember that because you're in the client side, some, getting some of these suggestions might require to send an HTTP request to the server just to get the list. In this case, I'm doing kubectl, get p, tab, and then I'm getting all those uh, resources. And this is super useful, uh, but again, if you are like far away from the cluster, that might take some time to come back. So you just need to be aware of that. But then. Definitely, this helps you to understand how to work uh, with this tool better. Then when you're working with Kubernetes in real life, you might end up having tons of different clusters with tons of different namespaces in them, right? So knowing how to switch efficiently be between these contexts and namespaces becomes quite, quite important. So let's take a look at a couple of options to do that. The first thing is, uh, you, is kubectl config uh, get uh, context or use context in order to switch, right? Remember, this is just going to select different clusters and interact with kubectl against the different clusters, right? So you can see here while I'm typing, I'm pressing tab kind of like a lot, k, config, tab, 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 in order to get to the right context, right? And then you can see the name of the context. They are quite long and very difficult to differentiate between the, each other, right? So there, are, there is a more efficient way to do that. You can write an alias and use tools like command line fuzzy finder in order to make your life easier, right? So you have an alias here, three letters, and then using uh, command line fuzzy finder, you get a list of options, and then you select the, the cluster that you want with your arrows, right? So that's, you know, we are getting better here, but you can definitely do this with more style, right? You can install kubectx or kubeNS to switch from contexts and from namespaces as well, right? And in this case, even if it's using command line fuzzy finder, it's coming with some extra features. In this case, I'm showing there, like that's the official uh, documentation that it shows that you can go to the previous context with dash, as you would expect. And also you can create like shorter name aliases for your context, right? Instead of remembering this long string, you can create a shorter one, map it, and then just keep using that, right? So that definitely improves things. But why creating our own aliases if we can get 800 plus aliases from this project here? I totally recommend you to check this out, right? So you get 800 plus automatically generated aliases based on conventions, right? In this case, what you do is you take you know, a letter for the arguments of the command to create very, very long commands, and then you can just create these shorter commands that, uh, that are abbreviated. In this case, you can use k for kubectl, g for get, P, uh, po for pods, right? So let's take a look at examples. kubectl, get, who? No, I'm just not getting proof from the server, right? I'm just getting pods in JAML, right? So be careful, right? With this one, you can definitely improve, you know, your speed, and you can do a lot of things, or you can go crazy trying to remember how it works. But if you're using these commands every day, learning these conventions might save you kind of like a lot of time. I've seen people being extremely efficient with this. Finally, plugins. Uh, so I want to introduce kubectl kubecon. It's a cow that tells you how many days are left for the next kubecon edition. 
you definitely can take a look at that. And if you give me a star, you will make happy another 99 developers that created that awesome plugin. Finally, Crew, Plugin Package Manager. Uh, and uh, big kudos to Daniel Wibble from Len Kubernetes. I created an article about that. You can take a look at the content in there. That's all I got. Thank you very much. <laughs>